So where has Chris Move gone? He started the 2K community. He paved the way for everybody that came after him and then he just disappeared. I don't buy it. My curiosity got the best of me and I figured I might as well plop on the camera. Let's see where this video takes us, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, we're trying to investigate why Chris Move is not uploading 2K no more. Well, actually, recently he's been uploading. Let's, let's get started. So without a doubt, he's been doing a whole ton of NBA related content. And now that it's off season, there might not be as much content, which might explain why he's been sprinkling in, you know, every once in a while, a 2K video. Off rip, listen, the frequency of videos he uploads is insane, ridiculous. Like, if someone comes out with information that DeMarcus was signed for five million, mid-level exception, Smooth is coming out with a video in 30 minutes flat. Ladies and gentlemen, he must have the world's fastest computer. He must have stole that straight out of NASA's headquarters, because I don't know how he does it. There was a point where he went entire months without even mentioning NBA 2K. And I was like, man, it might be over. The guy that started it has left it. It's like LeBron leaving the Cavaliers and now all they have is like Kevin Love. So if you guys have been paying attention to Smooth, he rarely ever gets super critical of 2K. Maybe once a year, he'll have like a massive rant about locker codes or something. And everybody's paying attention because it rarely ever happens. But this year, he just said what was on his mind when they messed with something in my career or the AI was terrible or they took out the rookie mode. He just, he said it. He just said it and he looked like he, he, he was maybe just sick and tired of the antics of 2K. It could be. Maybe he's just like, I don't want to deal with this anymore and it's just a cycle of doing the same thing over and over again. But also, you can imagine, all right, maybe thing number two. He's been uploading my career videos for as long as I can remember. After NBA 2K 14, 15, and 16, I was about sick and tired of my GM. I cannot imagine how he's feeling about my career after an entire decade. He's been uploading my career for an entire decade. It would be believable to me if he just said, listen, I'm tired of uploading my career, so maybe I'll do it less, and then I'll upload a video while Carmelo won't opt out next. Plus, I think that the NBA videos are a lot easier to do. There's that as well. He can upload a, a higher frequency. Smooth is a businessman, ladies and gentlemen. When everybody was opposed to the net neutrality rules, Smooth was for them. And uh, we had a back and forth on Twitter it was super clear to me, bro, he's all about the bag. Chris Smooth is gonna come home with the bag, bro. And I respect that. I get inspired by that, ladies and gentlemen. Anytime somebody succeeds or does something crazy in our sphere, whether it's the 2K community or content creators or YouTubers or just people on the internet just hustling, it inspires me. He uploads literally <laughs> any game. Marvel Spider-Man, he uploads Madden, NBA Live 19 trailer, bro, you name it. Okay, so I'm getting curious. Let's sort by oldest video. And let's just see where this takes us, ladies and gentlemen. The oldest Chris Smooth video is a Ben Wallace spin jumper. It is just 18 seconds. All right. We don't get no commentary. We just see Ben Wallace with the spin, mid-range pull up. Bye. And that got 286,000 views. <laughs> Listen, shout out to Smooth, because I was too much of a bitch to keep my old videos up. I privated all of them now because it was so incredibly embarrassing. The first video you do is always the most, like, it's, it's shameful, ladies and gentlemen, to look back. You're like, that's that was me? Ugh. So he kept these up. Hey, I got a lot of respect for that, man. Y'all don't even want to see what my first video. Some of you guys have seen it. And then I privated it because I got self-conscious. NBA 2K9 wasn't ready to be released. <laughs> Don't tell me they've been releasing unfinished games since 2K9. I'm up by three with four seconds to go in the game. I put Luo Dang on the free throw line. Oh my God. He makes the first free throw. And as you can see in this replay, he makes the second free throw. Now, instead of me being able to wrap this game up, inbound it, get fouled, make the free throws, <laughs> the AI decides inbounds it to Heinrich. And let me tell you that Heinrich makes this game winning shot. This is not the inbound glitch. This did not happen the entire game. What? The it only happened right at the end. Is he exposing 2K9, ladies and gentlemen? Here's the steals at Tony Parker. I can't tell the graphics were doo-doo. Go in, Smooth. Go in. Tell us what went wrong. 
<laughs> he drove the wrong way on the fast break. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Smooth. Hey, drop a 2K18 wasn't really ready to be released video. Please, Smooth. This is what the community's been waiting for. It's not wrong. In Pro-Am, East and West couldn't play together for a couple months. Players were being deleted. The servers were booty butt cheeked. It's not a stretch to say 2K18 wasn't ready to be released. I feel like out of all people, he would have the most intel, Chris Smooth, because he's been in the community so long, about just 2K in the past, and then just reading patterns to see where it's gonna go in the future. Almost like a day trader, right? You buy and sell stocks based on patterns, uh, based on previous experiences, based on the knowledge, the intel, and potentially if you're doing illegal things, insider trading if you have some information that everybody else doesn't know. And then he went on to do like some MLB for a bit. Uh, he got some more ranked videos exposed in 2K9, bro. I love that's how we got started, I love it. 2K9, a classic example of false advertising. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this might be the greatest video I've ever even decided to come upon. You're browsing the video game section for a basketball game. Uh-huh. And you stumble upon NBA 2K9. I did. Garnett's on the cover. Mm -hmm. You recognize him because the Celtics won the championship last year. So you pick up the game and you look at the back to read the features. And the features get you excited. Did I see get Did I see rent? Did I see rent? The features. What? They had it. They done had it in previous games and they took it out. These guys. Ladies and gentlemen, not only was Team 2K a thing over a decade ago, because I thought they just reintroduced it in like 2K16. I didn't even know it was a thing in the past. But you're telling me they done had ranked modes and unranked modes and the bring it back. Bring it back, 2K. Get you excited. And one of the features says. Team up with up to 10 consoles online. Form a team of up to five separate consoles to challenge other teams in unparalleled multiplayer action. And that sounds like fun. I've never seen this screen before. And that I have this game. You get to control one player and nine other people get to control the player and you get to play each other. So you buy the game, you go home, you put it in. And you're ready to try this mode out and uh -huh. have fun. Yep. And this is what you see. What this am game I could not be started. Refer to the online. Oh. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what did I... What did I just watch? You're telling me Smooth has been just exposed. Oh, in 2K for the longest. Is that what you're telling me? I didn't even know these. Why has none of you guys linked me this video? I thought me and you guys were cool, bro. You guys usually link me videos you think I'd find interesting on Twitter. You you messed up, okay? There's over 100,000 people that have seen this, and you're telling me one of the people watching this video, none of you guys have seen it. Ladies and gentlemen, I I just, I could do, I, I could do this for hours. There's NBA 2K10, and what is this? What is that title? I'm, okay, let's just click it. Watch Bonner. Watch okay. Bonner, number right. 15. Watch him. Uh -huh. Watch him. Did you see that? He just ran out to the three-point line for no reason. For no reason. Keep watching. Keep watching. All right, so let, let's take a look at this. Now, this is a mismatch. And I have no problem with Cayman winning <laughs> on this mismatch. I love this. But I let, love let's this. See what he did. Did he Bring this back. Did he do something offensively to get this dunk? Oh, please. Did you see what Bonner just did? They all have the same body Bonner type. basically just moved right out of the way. Look at this. He just like came in. I can't guard you, so I'm just going to I'm just going to go behind you and give you the dunk. All right. Okay, so that's where Chris move started. And I guess he just kind of carried on with these types of videos eventually. He began an entire My Career series where you'd create a player and then just walk you through that whole journey, upgrading that player through the whole storyline of 2K. And he's just been doing it for years. I understand maybe if he feels burnt out. When was this video uploaded? And this is not even his first one. October 2nd, 2009. When was the last time you stuck with something for over an entire decade? I'll wait. One eternity later. You probably have never done it, all right? I'm amazed. 
I'm also really impressed and incredibly happy he never took these down. This is fantastic content. I'm gonna go through this second I turn this camera off. And keep in mind, I know these videos have like thousands and hundreds of thousands of views now, but at the time, they had plenty less. It's just people like me going back just to see what things were like back in the day that's given this all the views it's getting. So Chris Move was out there virtually getting very little views, just uploading 2K videos because he enjoyed it, eventually blows up and then just has to figure out a way to continue growing. Even though there's no blueprint, no one's ever done anything like this before, this is uncharted territory. And then he accomplishes it. And then uh, herds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of YouTubers that love 2K start to do the same thing. And then that's how the whole 2K community spawned. I hope that Chris Move returns for 19, bro. I, and obviously, like, whatever he does is up to him. But man, it'd be a shame. It'd be a shame. It'd be a shame, bro, if he just, like, disappeared. And I know you can't upload 2K videos forever. Eventually, he might want to do something else. He might have other opportunities lined up. And he's not going to say no so he can continue to post the My Career series you've been watching for over a decade. If there was, if there was an NBA 2K Hall of Fame, He'd be first ballot, the first guy to get inducted for sure. But usually you, you enter Hall of Fames after you retire. So let's not even, let's forget that concept. <sighs> I enjoyed today. I enjoyed making this. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy watching more of these the second this turns off. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.